Hey, what's up guys? James here for Adapt to Perform. I'm talking to you inside your head because obviously you can see my lips aren't moving. But I'm here on my uncle's vlog just to let you know that we're having a fantastic day here at the Model Train Place. This is a great place that somebody's opened up their own home with a railway station in it and uh, we get to ride on the trains. It's a fantastic day. I hope you enjoy. Bye! <laughs> Alright then guys, so we are here at Luscombe Valley Railway. Now this is an absolutely fantastic place and I'll uh, talk about me transferring onto this train in a minute um, but you can enjoy this uh, experience while I'm talking about it. This basically there's a guy who owns this big house and plot of land and he wanted to build a railway on it and he's got it as part of his going. We weren't really too sure what it was going to be when we got there uh, but it, it turned out to be absolutely amazing. He's got about five to ten trains that are running um, he opens it up four times a year to public including this one which was Christmas time had Santa come along absolutely amazing and um, yeah he opens it up to the public and I wasn't actually expecting to have a go on the train we just wanted to see it and uh, show you guys how awesome this is but we actually got to go on and the other great thing is this was all for cancer research uh, charities so uh, a really great cause to open it up for but yeah we uh here as you can see me trying to get on the train um as i said we weren't really too sure the guy said you can get on on your wheelchair i don't think he really realized what that meant but um it, what it meant is that i had to transfer onto the wheelchair it's onto the train itself from my wheelchair this as you can see isn't the biggest train in the world and uh i'm quite a long person so he had to fold me in and um my feet were about twice the width of the foothold that you had on so I had to hold my feet in place so I had Alice on the back there and she was hugging me the whole time giving me uh, back support and then the guy helping me out that's actually Alice's dad and he is uh, going to be sitting in front of me for this and holding my legs still for as long as he can um, even so it was pretty difficult when we came around but it was totally worth it this was so so much fun something that I really didn't expect I was going to do that day so um, yeah really cool so anyway, it was worth trying you know you could go on there and say hey this is going to all fail but it was worth it in the end we had a really great time anything to get a ride on the train key
someone's back garden. So we were having a great time on the train but little did we know that Luscombe Valley Railway was about to see its biggest catastrophe in all its years running when I caused the train to derail. <laughs> the thing was, we were going along and my I was waving to the camel, which meant I took my foot off my leg off my foot that was on the rail, and it meant that my foot fell off and pushed the rail off of the line, and I caused everybody to have to stop and disrupt. So. Here's the footage of that, and I hope you enjoy. So I thought I'd say right now that it's actually the next day and my leg is okay. Um, so if you're worried about that, no issues. It was just cut, came off and it was scraping on a bit on the floor. So not, not too much to worry about there. However, I thought, felt like I did cause a bit too much disruption. It took me a while to get on, as you saw, and um, they had to uh, go and make sure the train was okay afterwards. But it was, I didn't cause any damage, so it got to run a bit later on in the day. So yeah, I thought I caused enough disruptions, so I'd go and check out what else was happening. And at that point, Santa had just gone past us when we were on the train. So we thought we'd go and check out on the car he arrived on, because it wasn't a normal car. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. guys i want to do a massive thank you to the people that run this luscombe valley railway they open this four times a year for cancer charities um raising money and it is fantastic it's such a good family day out as well just for a couple of hours just to do something and yeah it was a really really good fun uh if you did like this video make sure you like subscribe if you want to know more about this place i will put a link down below in the description 
Uh, but for now, guys, I'll let you watch this, the indoor railway that they had there for the rest of it, and I will see you next time.